Okay, in this video we're going to look at acrylamide and why it's become a big issue in the food industry. Paul, what are we covering? We're covering five things in this video and it will be what is acrylamide, how does it occur, um, what kind of foods do we need to be concerned about, number four is going to be why now, why are we suddenly worried about this thing, and finally number five is you. Um, what do you need to do about it to manage the risk? Johnny, what is acrylamide? Acrylamide is a toxic cancer-causing substance that occurs when you overcook starchy foods. But it's not just about avoiding burning stuff. Okay, so the phrase you need to remember, this is key, is your food should never be more than golden brown. Remember the song by The Stranglers. Maybe you've got to be 50 to no. appreciate that reference. But Will you enjoy that one? So anyone younger than that, golden brown is key. Anything up to golden brown, the amounts of acrylamide in it, shown here in this lovely diagram, are acceptable. That's something you can serve. Once you get into the last two big red crosses, the acrylamide amounts in those two pieces of toast are dangerous. They should never be served to the public, and that goes for all food. So we know that foods high in starch are a particular risk, but in practice, what foods are we talking about? Is it maybe this stuff in front of us? <laughs> it might be. So... Things like the humble potato, or public enemy number one, as it should be known now. Um, El Starcho, king of the starch. Starchy muck starch. When you start cutting and preparing potatoes, it starch is the milky white substance that, that you get all over your hands in the prep deck. Isn't it, it is, yes. And anything with starch in it has the potential to become a problem here. We've got a lot of potato products now on the market, and they're already pre-cooked as well. They're already at the stage we're calling golden brown. Yeah, it's important to think that because this product has been pre-cooked, it is already, when you get your hands on it, already on its acrylamide journey, hasn't it? Yeah, so you don't want to tip it over the edge and make it a risk to the public safety. Other things such as pastries, again, they're pre-cooked, that's pretty golden brown. Stick that under a grill and we're getting into risk. Uh, breads, we've already covered that with our nice bread diagram. Other things such as cereal, but basically anything containing starch is an issue you need to look into. So if you work with any of these foods or serve any of these foods, you need to keep watching the rest of the video because we're going to cover what to do. Yeah, absolutely. So why are we bothered about acrylamide all of a sudden? It's always existed, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a good point. It's been around forever. We've been burning food forever. We've been scraping toast off and serving it. Totally unacceptable maybe you, now. Maybe you have. Well, sometimes, but at home. The connection has been made between this and cancer causes, so we have to take it seriously from now. And as soon as we're aware of a food safety threat, existing food safety law means that we have to act to control that threat. Now that we know what it is, what do we actually need to do in practice? Yeah, if you're a food handler, this is very straightforward. It's just don't go beyond golden brown when you're cooking food. If you're a food business owner or supervisor, then you're going to need a policy and processes in place to be able to manage this threat. You do. So pretty much every food business's policy going forward should be, if it's overcooked or burnt, it goes in the bin. It should have been that already, but it definitely should be that now. The processes we're talking about is finding and identifying all the ingredients and pre-made products that are high in starch, following, on the, following those products on their reheat cook journey, and trying to minimise all the way through that possibility of overcooking or burning. Yeah, then take that policy and your processes and build them into your HACCP plan and make sure you train your staff what to do. A tip that we would give you is photograph your food when it's prepared appropriately and stick that on the wall. Yeah, we've used the term golden brown all the way through. Someone's golden brown might be very different to someone else's golden brown. So to actually hold up something like this pastry against the photograph of what it should look like is key. 